Hey guys, Mike here at MA Tutorials. Welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a combined tutorial. We're going to work in FilterForge and we're going to work in Maya. And the goal for today is to create engraved or etched glass, okay, in Maya. Now, why are we in FilterForge? Because in FilterForge, you can create a normal map in like less than a second, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open a file, which is a render of a model that I uh, did a while back. So I'm gonna go up to File, Open Image, and on my desktop, I have that um, render right here, which is an arena, and I'll just, uh, go to photo so you can see it let's do uh let's do a sepia i like that okay some of you may remember this uh, thing okay so this thing is modeled and what we're going to do is we're going to create a normal map out of this image we're going to apply it to our glass surface and we're going to etch it into the glass in maya okay so with this selected i'm going to go to miscellaneous under effects and it's already selected normal map okay and here we go so i'm going to save this out all right so and as you see just one click and boom there we go file uh let's see save image as and arena normal yeah sounds great i think i already have a file with that name but we'll just override it yeah there we go replace yes okay and we'll give that a second all right, all set. Then we're going to go to Maya. And we don't have any scene set up at all. Now, if you're working with uh, glass or simulated glass in Maya, you obviously need some lights, some settings, and so forth to get the right effect. Okay, so we're going to create a ground plane. I'm just going to drag that out, hit R, and we're going to stretch that out in all directions so it's nice and big. Right click, assign new material. Let's do a Fong E for our floor. There we go. And let's change that color to black. Well, first I'll do it in white and I'll change it to black later. Reason is I need to um, position the normal map correctly and I can see it better when it's white, okay? So next we're gonna create an additional plane and we're gonna drag that out. And that's gonna be our sheet of glass. We're gonna hit E, we're gonna rotate that up. Make sure we're at minus 90, there we go. And we're gonna hit W and we're gonna bring that up. All right, looks about right, okay. We're gonna create one light source or one direct light source. So create lights and point light. Let's pull that back and up. Hit seven on our keyboard so we can see what our light is doing. That looks right. And then we're gonna select our sheet of glass, right click, assign new material, and we're gonna go with a blin. Okay. And once we have that, we're gonna go into our attribute editor, hit control A to pull that up, select your blin one tab, and we're gonna change the transparency. We're gonna pull that way up until pretty much your object is fully transparent and you can see that it is okay cool so we got that we're going to tweak some settings in our render settings so we're going to go to render settings let's try that again render settings there we go we're going to go to mental ray under indirect lighting we're going to select image base lighting so we can load an HDRI file for additional light uh, as additional light source. So hit create. We're going to set up global illumination, final gathering, and we're going to select caustics because we're working with glass. Okay. Under a quality tab, we'll do 1.5. There we go. And under a common tab, let's select the image size for HD 10. Oops. HD 1080, there we go. Looks all good, minimize that. We're gonna select our HDRI image for our additional lighting. And I'm just gonna look that up. Here's my HDRI folder. And I get the question a lot from people saying, okay, so I don't have that HDRI folder and what did I do wrong with the install and so forth. 
I created that folder myself, and I recently posted a number of websites on my Facebook page, uh, MH Tutorials, where you can find free HDRI files. So that's where I got them, okay? So I'm just gonna select that. I'm gonna take one of these files here. Let's do one of these, there we go. Okay, and it doesn't really matter that much as long as we have some uh, secondary light source and we'll set up a resolution gate here. Okay, and now let's get busy with uh, the etching of our glass. Okay, we're gonna select our glass sheet, right? Right click, uh, sorry, we already got a material, so blin. We're gonna go to our bum mapping section. We're gonna hit the checkered box. We're gonna select file. And before we do anything else, we're gonna increase the bump depth to let's say 1.3 and we're not going to use this as a, a bump but as a uh, object space normal all right then we're going to select this little black thing here which will allow us to open a file so we're going to hit the folder i'm going to go to my desktop and i'm going to look for my arena normal the file that we created and hit ok now, the thing is that we don't know if it's positioned correctly, and we don't really see a lot going on yet. If we hit this uh, checkered ball, you can see that it's now created, and it looks to be sideways. It's a bit hard to see. Maybe if I change the color of my floor, you can see it a bit better, but we'll see it in a sec, okay? So it looks to be tilted. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor, and we're going to hit the Rotate button. Now it's upside down, so keep on going. Hang on. Um, now it's upside down. Now it's upright. Okay. Cool. So it looks okay. We can tweak it just a little bit. We can right click, go to UV, drag select everything, move it up just slightly. And then we're gonna hit R and we're gonna stretch it out until it fits our zero to one UV space, okay? Now, hopefully the light is set up in a way that we have enough contrast to see our etch when we render. So I'm going to hit the render button. I'm going to pause during that render because that will take a little bit. And I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, and I'm back. Well, you can see that I added one little thing here uh, because there wasn't enough uh, contrast in the background to see the image properly. So what I just did is I uh, created a polygon cube and made that black. That's all. Okay. Just so you can see the glass better. You can see in the areas where the black object is not uh, behind it down here, you can clearly see the uh, engraved arena, but with the black uh, background or any background in your scene for that matter, you can clearly see that this is now uh, etched onto the glass. Okay. Now that was the purpose of this tutorial. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If you got any questions, let me know. If you come up with some uh, really creative, uh, um, uh, applications for this. I'd love to see it. And that said, thank you guys for watching. I'd love to see you guys again.